Um, I am going to discuss on this video property, plant, and equipment section um, lump sum purchase. So I have a situation where land, building, and equipment were purchased for a lump sum of $400,000. Along this with this purchase was an appraisal fee for $25,000. And that's traditionally when you buy a lump sum, you have to look at what um, each one would appraise for. So when they got done, the land appraised for $120,000, the building appraised for $180,000, the equipment for $27,000, for a total of $327,000. And what we need to do is we need, need to determine the cost to be assigned to each of those. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put acquisition cost of uh, $400,000, that's how much he um, acquired the all three of them for. Oh, let's, shoot, let's go that way. Then the we include the appraisal fee in the price, that was $25,000. Add those together, so we have $425,000. Now we have land, we have building, we have equipment. We come over here and the appraised amount was 120,000. We had 180,000 for the building and $27,000. That is what it appraised for. Now again, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to figure out um, how much we're going to put as the cost to assign to them. Okay, so this was the appraisal fee, appraisal, and then we need our percentage. Okay, so what I need to do is let me add these three together. So we have $327, $327,000, not 327, but $327,000. So we're going to take $120,000 and we're going to divide that by the $327,000. 327,000, can't seem to get that straight in my head. I'm going to bring it out two decimal places. But out of the 327,000, 36.70% is land. I'm going to divide, we'll get that one percentage as well. And I should format the next one. Okay, so then for my equipment, 27,000 divided by that appraisal fee. So this gives us our percentages. And if we were to add that up, that's going to give us 100%. So then the cost to assign each of these, and we have again, I'm going to copy the land, building, and equipment. So we can take that 425000 we can take it times 36.70%. These I'm going to eventually just round down, decrease, make a whole number. Okay, and let me make this a little bit prettier. So then we'll take the 425,000 times the 55.05%, and our equipment take times for. 425% times 8.26%. So what we have here, and if I sum these all up, these are the cost, these three are the costs that we're going to use to assign to our land, building, and equipment. So then if you wanted to do just a simple journal entry, you would have your um, land, building, and equipment for each of these individual costs, and you would credit the cash that you paid. So just a real simple um, look at the lump sum purchase, how we would do using GAP.